Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. Today we are going to discuss a very important concept in a C language. So that is pointers. Pointers in a C language. The people thinking that pointers concept is a very hard. So no. If you are perfect in all the previous concepts such as the structures, arrays, strings, data types, operators, working with pointers is very easy. How easy? We will see. What is a pointer? What is a pointer means? So, just a pointer points to a memory location. Pointers concept is very, very important. Without using pointers, no programming language no programming language will be present in this world. Why sir? What is the reason? The only reason is pointers used to access the information from a memory. If memory is not there and if data processing is not there, accessing the data, storing the data, processing the data is not there, then what is the use of applications and what is the use of programming languages? No use. So, that much important. Simply a pointer is used to access the information of a particular memory location. How can you declare a pointer variable, sir? So, general declaration of variable, general declaration of variable is just data type and followed by what is the identifier, what is the identity of a variable example also will write then you will understand more clearly integer and here it is any variable name we are giving suppose a a so then just convert this syntax this is variable syntax we know very well just convert this into a pointer very simple just you have to add a star asterisk here and this syntax also is allowed in a C language. Pointer A. Either you can place in front of the variable or you can place a followed by the data type. Two options. These two declarations are allowed. Sir, how many types of pointers are there? How many types of pointers are there? Only two types of pointers. So, what are the pointers? C. Typed pointers second one untyped pointer untyped so what is a typed pointer a typed pointer points to a specific type of data specific type of data this is a typed pointer for example if you take integer pointer it can points to only integer data. If it is a double pointer, it can points to only double data. Suppose if it is a struct employee pointer, struct employee pointer, structure pointers also we can write. It can points to only employee data clearly employee data. So, typed pointer means a pointer always points to a specific type of data. Integer pointer cannot points to double data, double pointer cannot points to structure data, structure pointer cannot points to functional data that is. And here, sir, what is untyped pointer can points to any type of data can points to any type of data. This is also called generic pointer in a C language. Is called generic pointer. Sir, what is the pointer? Void pointer. Void pointer is called a generic pointer that can points to any data. Points to any type of data. That is it. So, these are types of pointers, typed pointer and 
untyped pointer. Typed pointer always points to a specific type of data, untyped pointer points to any data that is called a generic pointer, void pointer. So, generally in pointers concept, whatever the operation you do, we need to take the help of two operators, only two operators. Sir, what are the two operators? First one is a address operator, second one is a pointer operator. Sir, what address operator will do that we know already? Address operator returns the address of a particular variable address of a particular variable, memory location of a variable that what you specified that it will return. And what is a pointer variable returns? Pointer variable returns the value which is inside a specified address. The value which is inside a specified address that will be written. So, that is the difference between address operator and pointer operator. Address and pointer operator. With example, we will see all these things. Okay? So, one simple example, main, inside the main method, I am declaring one integer variable i and I am initializing with the value 100. So, i gets memory allocation at some location. Memory locations very, very important whenever we are working with the pointers because pointer concept is completely based on memory locations only. Some location we are taking 2046 and uh, initial value is a 100. Next, here it is I am declaring one integer pointer variable. Why is there integer pointer? Because I want to point to integer data. So, typed pointer I am declaring. Sir, pointer name, any name you can take. Suppose PTR I am writing. There is no strict rule that variable name should be PTR. You can write your own name also, no problem. So, PTR gets memory allocation. PTR gets memory allocation at some location. 3002, just consider. And here it is into PTR, into pointer variable, into this location. I want to store address of i. What is that address of i? 2046 I want to store here. How to store? We are taking the help of address operator, i variable address, i memory location address it will return that will be collected into PTR. So, that it start pointing to this location with the help of that pointer. Memory locations over. Next printing, printf printf percentage d i am printing i value easily we can say that what is that i value 100 it will print 100 next printf percentage d we are printing ptr value ptr so what is that ptr value See 2046, it will print 2046. Next, printf percentage D, we are printing address of I. Address of I we are printing. What is that address of I? Is it 2046? It will print 2046. Printf percentage D. We are printing address of PTR. PTR is a location. PTR location address is what? 3002. So, it will print 3002. Next, printf percentage D pointer to PTR we are writing. PTR is a 2046. What pointer operator will return? the value which is inside the specified address. You specified 2046. Po PTR means what? 2046. Pointer to 2046 means the data which is inside 2046. Inside 2046, what is the data? 100. 
so 100 it will print and next for example print f percentage d pointer to address of i what is that address of i address operator will return the address that is 2046 address of i is a 2046 pointer to 2046 means once again the value which is inside that location what is the value 100 so like that we can write a uh, pointers but remember one thing in a programming language address means is a positive integer value positive integer value but here it is a percentage d means it will print a negative values and positive values so that is why whenever we are printing addresses it is better to place percentage u everywhere percentage u represents only unsigned represents only unsigned and address also only positive integer value so that is why here we are placing percentage u symbol this is a simple example of how to work with a pointers concept so many concepts are there right how to work with the pointers to functions pointers to strings call by value call by reference and so many examples are there all these examples we'll see in a coming sessions for more videos please subscribe to naresh it channel thank you